Okay, legends, when it comes to being tight with borrowing money, make sure that you are confirming with your broker how they've got to that number. Get them to give you a breakdown. So getting your broker to give you a breakdown of the income that they're basing your borrowing capacity off. I'm going to give you a real hard, um, cool story that I actually came across with serving an existing client today. This is the reason why I'm filming this is I just had a client who originally said, hey, broker, how much can I borrow? And then this client replied back with, um, and the broker's like, yeah, sure, what's your income like? And the client responded with, um, oh, same as last year, right? So the broker's gone and run this particular client's borrowing capacity based off the money he earned last year because the client had assumed that it's based off his base wage. Now, this particular client is in sales. So he has additional um, additional commission. When he originally asked the broker, the broker was like, okay, based on last year's pay slips, which we already have. So just, just to, uh, for a bit of context, so this particular client has two properties that I've just helped him source. He's about to go and buy the third. And I'm like, come on, mate, we've got some debt equity. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So he went back and triple checked the borrowing capacity. And then I saw this email where I was like, he said, oh, it's based off the same, based off the same income as last year. And I was like, hang on a second. No, it's not. I know that he's in a sales role and where he tells me, and this is how close I build of a relationship with my clients. And he, um, he tells me about his commission all the time. He's like, Liv, he sells doors, right? Like big garage doors, uh, basically for high end rich people. Right. And so he gets paid commission on top of his base wage. And I was like, and he's always telling me like, Liv, I just did this much of commission. I was like, fuck yeah, go son, go get it. Go lock in those safety doors. Right. And I was like, hang on, you're telling me how you're doing so much more in sales than what you were last year. And I'm like, your bonuses would be way more. And he didn't let the broker know that. So in the first email, the broker's like, oh, you could borrow 350 grand. And I'm like, oh, that's really not enough now. Like two years ago, that was enough. It's not enough now. And I'm like, you're going to need at least a good 500,000. So we need to get it up 150K. Anyway, so I say, no, no, no. I want you to go back to the broker now and ask the broker, what is this really based off? And he said, this income, that and that and that. And I said, you got commission, right? And he goes, yeah. So I said, send him your last three months of pay slips and then get him to run your borrowing capacity based off that. He sends that to the broker. Broker comes back and is like, yep, you can now borrow like 550000 or $530,000. So it went up nearly $200,000. All because of the fact that that, um, that, that investor had assumed that he could just borrow based off his ba base wage and he wasn't clarifying that. Now that right there, that move or that decision and that assumption that he'd made previously, unless I jumped in and seen that, he would have stopped. He would have not have been able to buy that next property, which you got to have a think about the opportunity cost. I always talk about opportunity cost of what that could cost him, right? So he had $100,000 of dead money in equity that we're gonna now be able to pull out and use that for the next property, which is now going to double and he's likely gonna make another $100,000 next year in his sleep because of that. So that would have been a $100,000 cost to him if he'd just gone along with that assumption. So for those stuck on borrowing money, it is critical to, well, one, have a coach to teach you how to ask high quality questions and jump in where I see like you could be making mistakes. But most importantly, if you're doing this on your own, especially, is make sure that you're consistently clarifying with your broker how they're assessing that, right? Um, I'm just trying to think if there's another example that I wanted to give you. I used to do this all the time back when I was working at Optus, right? And my pay would, uh, would fluctuate as well. And this is more towards the end of me working at Optus because I used to get paid, um, not bonuses, uh, what do you call it? Uh, loadings because I used to start doing early shifts in the morning uh, before 7 a.m. shifts and Optus would pay us and we'd had nighttime loadings as well if I'd work past 6 p.m. So I used to really love those loadings and the weekend loadings. Anyway, and those loadings added up over a three-month window can again really impact your borrowing capacity. So lesson from this video, don't assume that your broker has all of the information. Get them to break it down. You know, be curious about, hey, how are, how did you even get to that number to begin with? What is that based off? What incomes did you base that off? What debts did you base that off? All right, and hopefully that adds some value to you. Anyway, 
hopefully you had fun listening to this video. <laughs>